good morning children let us continue with the previous class fields and forest our next topic is habitat okay do you know what is habitat yes the natural home or environment of animal plant or other organisms is known as habitat children now look at the pictures shown here the first one is a picture of a pond in this picture we can see many organisms like frog duck fish etc for all these organisms the pond is their habitat the next one is a picture of a paddy field the paddy is a living thing and its habitat is the soil animals are classified into three namely terrestrial animals aquatic animals and amphibians first terrestrial animals any animal that lives grows and reproduce on land are called terrestrial animals they spend most of their entire life span on land in contrast to animals that live in water aquatic animals aquatic animals are animals which live in the water for most or all of its lifetime amphibians animals that live on both land and water are known as amphibians amphibians means both ways of living the table below shows the organisms that live on land and in water living on land banyan tree mongoose elephant lion living in water water lily frog fish lotus every organism has its own adaptation which helps it to survive in its habitat examples the water lily and lotus live in water they don't decay in water and their leaves float in water the adaptation of tortoise is slimy body or like legs that is or means a pole with a flat part at one end used for rowing a boat and webbed feet the adaptation of a frog are small waist and no neck broad flat skull which make its body streamlined for swimming thin skin which allows it to pass through in effect allowing it to breathe through its skin powerful hind legs and feet allow the frog to jump long distances the adaptation of a crocodile is its shape of its body the adaptation of a duck is its webbed feet which allows it to swim there are several organisms living in and around ponds trees 
and fields these organisms need air water soil and sunlight to live plants and animals help each other to survive living and non living things depend on each other living things are biotic factors and non living things are abiotic factors an ecosystem includes the mutually dependent biotic and abiotic factors of a particular place let us summarize the natural home or environment of animal plant and other organism is known as habitat any animal that lives grows and reproduce on land are called terrestrial animals an aquatic animal is an animal which lives in the water for most or all of its lifetime animals that live on both land and water are known as amphibians adaptations of water lily and lotus to survive in water are they don't decay in water their leaves float in water the adaptations of tortoise are slimy body or like legs or means a pole with a flat part at one end used for rowing a boat webbed feet having toes that are connected by pieces of skin the adaptation of a frog are small waist and no neck a broad flat skull make its body streamlined for swimming thin skin which allows it to pass through in effect allowing it to breathe through its skin powerful hind legs and feet allow the frog to jump long distances the adaptation of a crocodile is the shape of its body the adaptation of a duck is webbed feet which allows it to swim living things are biotic factors and non living things are abiotic factors thank you